Ooh, this kind of hit home, boy. And I've been emotional. I'm about to come on my period. But, um. About now because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if you're going to lose it. Woo! Shit. What did you do? I would have wanted to fuck, right? <laughs> I know you do. And walked it. Girl, I... What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Niji, the host. I'm today. <laughs> I'm back with another video now. Uh, I ain't gonna cap. This is such a drag. Like, this whole them breaking up thing or whatever. This is such a drag because it's so negative, like for real. And I really, really, really have gotten out of reacting to negative things because it affects you. And that's something I wasn't admitting when I was reacting to stuff, you know what I'm saying? That shit affects you. Um, because it's like, damn, okay, you know, first of all, nothing's gonna be perfect, so they didn't do nothing to me, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just, I'm an empath, so it's just kinda like, a lot of people want to judge it and say this is fake and all that. And I really just, I don't know. I don't know if it's fake or not. I really don't think it is, though. But it is dragged out. If it ain't nothing, it's dragged out. And um, it's kind of draining. <laughs> but I'm going to react to it. Y'all definitely want me to react to it. So I will. Because I love you guys. And I guess, I mean, deep down, I, you know, I kind of want to see how this going to turn out, too. I mean... We just got started. We just got started and it just, it ended so fast. You know what I'm saying? It ended so damn fast. So let me get to it and quit talking. Not too long. And fucking, um, Natalie is so damn serious. Oh, she's a Sagittarius. Oh, and I, you know, Sagittarius, I'm, I'm not, feeling Sagittarius at all. They are, uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna get, I'm not, I'm not gonna get into that. Uh, just know. Okay, so let me go ahead and get into this. Let's stop talking. Let's do it. See what they, see what they got to say. Uh, let's get it. Not too long ago, I was going through a lot of things with her family and I had made some tweets I don't know what you want me to say to you right now. I just need you to do this, Natalie. I have to go. What do you, Natalie? Come here. Come here. Just let me talk to me. Just talk to me. I don't think I don't have anything to say. Yes, you do. Just talk to me. It's me. It's me you're talking to. Your best friend of three years, Natalie. Four years. It's me you're talking to. Talk to me. put shit out not mean to say it you know you, you just get caught up in your shit you know what I'm saying and really we don't know what they're going through behind the scenes you know what I'm saying we have no idea um I'm gonna listen up <laughs> we were this close we were this close we almost had it e. we almost had it we almost had the fairy tale story I doesn't need to gather her emotions. My family and you were starting to finally get along. And then you go and make that tweet. You pulled the rug from underneath us. From under our future together. I know, I know you're sorry. I know you're sorry. I want to 
I want to, you know. Yo, I, from what y'all told me about the tweet, so y'all know I went back. I went back to look at her sister's video, which I should have looked at a long time ago. I went back and looked at her video, and she brought up, you know what I'm saying, they've had drama or whatever. It's been a lot of drama going on with them, blah, 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 which I feel like is so irrelevant. And I can see why Easy could be mad at that. Uh, I can see why Easy could be mad at that. Um, but for her to cut her all the way out because of a tweet, I just, I'm not convinced. I just want to be like, it's okay, like, it's fine, but it's not, it's not, it's not. Or, or maybe she pushed her to the edge, just like the last straw. This got to be the last straw. You, you know, it's never over, it's never over what you think it's over, ever. It's never over that. It's always deeper than that. And then somebody can drop a fork. You'd be like, why the fuck did you drop a fork? <laughs> like, but you've already pissed me off for the past three years. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like these past these commercials be killing me. These past few days, I've been, I'm not, just please. I've been pushed to some dark places. You know, I've thought things that, you know, I never really thought I would. I've felt things that I never thought I would. Because I can't do this anymore. I've been here so I can't. I mean, I, I've been here for Where you. was the support, E? No. Where was the support when I needed it? When you stormed off and you made that tweet out of emotion, where was the support then? Where was your Where was your concern about me? Where, where was your I'm concern? Human. Where was your concern about our relationship? About your relationship with my family? About all of this that you are so concerned about now because you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know if you're gonna lose it. Woo! Shit! What did you do? Like from the. <clears throat> from the tweet that I well not that I seen because I ain't see a tweet <clears throat> somebody told me what was said and I this is like <laughs> this is like life or death right here this is so dramatic like yo first of all you went on there and you told them that my sister had you know what I'm saying <laughs> Like, it's so deep and the fact that we don't know the depths of how deep this is is really really I don't know which way to go I guess that's supposed to be the point because I'm just like from what I've seen it wasn't that serious so what is it I'm sorry. <coughs> what did you do I totally understand. I'm not trying to justify anything that I felt at all, period. I'm sitting here telling you, and I've told you countless and countless of times, like, Natalie, I take full ownership of everything that I've ever done. But taking full ownership of you doesn't mean you're not going to do it again. And that's oh. the problem. Easy I'm over there being I'm hell. I'm tired of the drama. I'm tired of hurting. I'm tired of the situation. Me too. I'm tired of it too. Now I want to be close to them. I want to have this relationship, Natalie. I'm tired, Natalie. I'm yeah. sick and tired, Natalie. I need. I kept trying to convince her to stay so we could work everything out together. Stop. That's what I told you. I didn't want you coming here to try to convince me to not go back to Miami. Am I not supposed to fight for what no, I love? Am I not like, no. To? You should have fought for it when it mattered. When when you, when you could change something. <clears throat> I need to go home. I need I need to go back to Miami. I need to be with my mom. I need to just relax. I need to talk to my mom. I need I need I just need space. I need to be away from you. I like, can't. What is that? Like over a hundred thousand miles away, Natalie. We can take our space. It's been what two weeks? Two weeks since I have I've been seeing you, Natalie. They they I know this. More they space know this. That. This is not look. What look, what? Please. What am I supposed to do? Just let you go. You're supposed to. That's not necessarily like a let. She just kind of got to go. This is, this is stressful. I'm stressed. Okay. I was so happy. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it was like fresh love on a Sunday morning. Now I just don't understand. What did you do? Like, I, I just feel like you need to give us a video and say, 
Man, this is what I said, bro. And this is what I've been doing because she's trying to make it seem like you just been causing all kind of hell. And hell, you agreeing to it. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I know. I know I did some crazy shit. What is it? that you made a mistake I did and this is because of the mistake that you made okay so you trying to get me to stay this is not taking ownership taking ownership is knowing I did something and this is what's happening because I did it not trying to you know lessen the blow not trying to be like please don't punish me in this way don't it's not it's not even about you i'm not trying to punish you e you're an adult i need you to understand though that when you do something there's an effect it's a cause and effect okay I understand. Okay, but so we just no, not, I just expressed my love to you, Natalie. Now you want to run thought away. Of that, e. You should have thought of that, E. You should have thought of that, E. What? Shit. This is a real argument here. This is getting heated. When you made that tweet. You should have thought of that. You did. You did. You just got the girl. You finally got the girl. Damn. I gotta go. Listen, I, I would have been real calm. First of all, like, but you, I can say certain things now because I've been here. I have been here, okay? I know that position. I know that position, and that position is not a good position. It is a disposition, to be exact, okay? What did you do, girl? This is so deep. God damn it. I'm going back to Miami and I'm gonna just I need to, I need to, to I need space I need to think I'm oh, sorry oh. Meezy gang I know that I know that you guys have invested a lot in us I know that you guys love us and we look forward to watching us you know on YouTube and stuff and you were so excited about <laughs> us giving this a try but just know that this is my real life and no matter how bad I want to keep pumping out content for you no matter how bad I want to give you what you want I have to make a decision for me right now because my mental state my emotional state isn't there and I need my space I need to take time I need to you know I'm always preaching to you guys about mental health and loving yourself and like you know meditating and journaling I will say her Instagram has seemed as if she has been stressed I'm not really in a Twitter like that but from her Instagram it just seemed like she just not she's not happy and uh I've been in that position as well you know I told y'all I'm not coming on here to bash anybody and all that lame shit I'm, I'm not, because somebody said something like, Nick, I want you to do exposures again. No, I wasn't even, this is not even an exposure channel. You know what I'm saying? Um, people expose themselves, but you cannot play on people's um, downfalls. You can't play on people's emotions either, especially when they're going through a bad time. Especially when you in that position or when you've been in that position. So my heart would just not allow me to do so. So, you know, it's just like, especially not for no dollar. So it's just like with this, you know, with some YouTube shit, you are, you're going to naturally say, I don't know if this is real or not. That's just how that work. If this is real. It's uh, for them to, to tell their following that, you know, the Neezy game, that they ain't doing no videos no more and they got to take a break and, you know, stuff like that. That's pretty damn real to me. So, um... I'm going to pray for them, man. I hope I hope that they can bounce back from whatever this is. And if they can't, then they just can't. You know, sometimes you just got to let people go, you know, and um, for, for the betterment of you. You know what I'm saying? And for Natalie, it seemed like her letting easy go right now is, is for the betterment of her. So <clears throat> at some point, you have to choose you. And if that's what she got to do, then that's just what she got to do. You know what I'm saying? I need to do that from the comfort of my home in Miami. I need to be with my mom. I need to really take care of myself. This is self-care. This is removing myself from a situation that is causing me just mental and emotional damage and just taking my space and my time. So 
I respect your time, Natalie. And like I told you before, I will respect it. I have to respect it because, like you said, it's cause and effect. And I did something that, you know, I never want to hurt you. I never want to see you like this. So if it means, you know, you going across the country and getting that space that you need for your mental sanity and your mental health, like, I'm down for it. So I support you 100%. I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like I'm not wrong. I am. And I'm taking full ownership. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to prove to you that it's, it's worth fighting for. It's been ongoing drama. Just It just hasn't stopped, yo. And I know, like, we haven't, we've been trying to hide it and tuck it under the rug and stuff like that. And that's what's pretty much getting to us. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I will not justify anything I, I've done. You know? <coughs> and and I, just, I just, I didn't know how to deal with that emotion. But that doesn't give me any right. To do what I did now that look at me. I know I effed up. I know I did, but I'm willing to show you and I'm willing to fight now. I'm willing. Mm -hmm. I wanna fight. Wait. You. I wanna show you my love. Come here. You can't just give up on me. Ron, can't. that's my thing. You know. <sighs> Woo! This kind of hit home, boy. And I've been emotional. I'm about to come on my period. But um, mmm. People so quick to give up on you, you know. And then again, you got people that's in your face who not giving up on you. You've given up on yourself. And um, you don't see that until after the fact. You don't see how a person was really, really, really there for you. How a person was really, really down for you until you ain't got their ass no more. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's, that's, what that's looking like. You know, but it's like, damn, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And and nobody will, will continue to go through the same thing. That's just practicing insanity. Nobody wants to go through that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like, shit. Come here. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm not just, I need mean, my time. I need my time. I, I wish, you know, it hurts me to not be able to comfort you but i don't want to give you any false hope i don't know what's gonna happen <coughs> man i don't know what's gonna happen i do love you Maisie. i'm in love with you yes. you know that that is fucking her up you know that and that that is the reason why this hurts me so bad that's the reason why i need to just get away I don't want to. I don't want this to end. I don't want to go I gotta go. Like, please, just understand. You are a beautiful person, me. You have a huge heart, a loving, bright soul. But you also. How do you get the. You well, also what? Man, like, you, you really have to learn how to deal with certain things. You need to learn how to deal with your emotions, not just react. You know, you, you gotta you gotta learn how to control that. I don't I don't know what else I'm gonna tell you, but I'm not gonna Damn. Yeah, I don't know what else I'm gonna tell you. Damn. I'm gonna I know you doing just Thank you all for supporting us throughout this journey. No matter if you view this as a big or small situation, Natalie, had to, Natalie has decided to go back to Miami due to how she feels. The behind the scenes drama has weighed hard on the both of us leading up to this point. Thank you again for being so supportive in our most vulnerable time. Yo, that is crazy. Girl, she said, I know you do. Social media. I gotta go back to that. I love you. I know you do. And look at her and walk the fuck off. Shh. I would have wanted to fuck right then. <laughs> I know you do. And walk the girl out. Okay, I just want to see that one more time. I'm told that I don't, I don't know what else I'm going to tell you, but I don't Just, 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 
give me a second. <clears throat> this makes me sad. Like, you know, it's so crazy how words can cut like knives. Um, and, and cause harm. And um, you can just do one thing. <clears throat> one thing and your whole life just change. You know. And with anything that you do, it, it, it comes a consequence. You know, that's why they have sayings like you live by, you die by. You know what I'm saying? Smoke cigarettes every day, you're going to get cancer, you're going to die, you know? And um, these types of things is just so unfortunate. It's so damn unfortunate. Because just like... <laughs> Being a black man, you know, or, or, or being black in general. You could be walking in the store and have counterfeit money on accident, hell, and lose your fucking life. Or you could be at Wendy's sleep drunk and not want to go to jail, run away and get shot in the back. You know, it's like, unfortunately, we don't have room for error these days. You make one fucking mistake. You lose your life. You make one fucking mistake, you lose your best friend, you lose your girlfriend, you lose your wife, you lose all your money. You lose everything you've ever had with one fucking mistake. But you know, we all have warnings, I feel like, before we lose everything. And I'm not talking about these men. No, I'm not talking about Black Lives Matter. I'm talking about in relationships. It's like you know, you know, like in the back of your mind, you should, but damn, you know, maybe I'm affecting people or maybe I am wrong. Maybe I am that person, but you continue to do the same thing and then it becomes a cycle. Then that one thing messes up everything. But the point is we don't have room for error. And this situation is very unfortunate, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, you have to respect someone's space. You have to respect their well-being. People need space, you know what I'm saying? Um, and most of the time, that's what it is. I feel like, I just need space, you know what I'm saying? You, you make a mistake of not telling somebody how you feel in a moment, girl. That thing will carry and carry and carry. Then it turned into other shit. You know what I'm saying? Something that it never was. Never something it never was supposed to be. It has turned into that. And then you look up like, what have we done? You know what I'm saying? Child, I have so many mixed emotions on this subject. It's crazy. Hence is why I'm still talking after the video is done. But um I hope that they can re what, what you call Reconcile or Whatever, I hope that they can bounce back from this um, because it's just not, it's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? It's just not. And um, it, it, nothing is worth your, your mental state to deal with someone else. Fuck them. So for her to say, you know, forget easy, I gotta go, I completely understand that. Girl, bye. Um, just saying, like, you know, they have built so much. You know what I'm saying? They built so much and it was just going so good. And with one fucking mistake. I'm sad. I love love. I'm becoming to love love more. I mean, to the point where I even want my own wife. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna have one. I ain't gonna cap on my wife. I want kids. I don't know about the white picket fence. I'm looking more like mansion. I'm saying more like pool. You know what I'm saying? More like in the hills. You know. More like bowling alley. The you know. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But um it's just you know, I'm sad. You know, this is unfortunate. Not even on a relationship shit. Fuck that. A friend level. Like 
damn, y'all built so much together, and it just gotta go to shit. You know what I'm saying? Because of one mistake. But I don't know if it's gonna be a part three or whatever. Y'all know I'm gonna react to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, in the meantime, in between time, I hope that they can bounce back and get this thing together. I have George Floyd shirts available. And it has no justice, no peace on the back. You know what I'm saying? Black Lives Matter. These shirts must go. When you out there protesting, you can protest with my man on your shirt. You dig? Um, make sure y'all hit the link in my bio to get the shirts. Um, and other than that, man, I just, I hope that they can find peace and, and uh, but be cool again at least, you know. But other than that, I'm sad. <laughs> that blew me. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all pray for them too. You know what I'm saying? Pray for them too. All right.